On the 9th of June 2018, the first term of office of the Chairman of the General Court Marshal General Andrew Guti expired leading to the suspension of a number of prominent cases. The cases include that of Abdullah Chitata, the patron of Boda Boda 2010, and others after they were found in possession of military artillery and ammunition. The case of seven police officers involved in the alleged illegal repatriation of refugees to Rwanda. And the case of former Bubulo West MP, Tony Kipoi, who is accused of attempting to overthrow the government. This afternoon, the newly instituted General Court Marshal was sworn in at their headquarters in Machinde following the recent approval of the UPDF High Command. Lieutenant General Andrew Guti was the first to take oath after being reappointed for his second and final term. I the Minister of Justice, according to the Uganda Defense Forces Act, according to the Uganda Defense Forces Act, without partiality, without partiality, favor, favor, or affection. Other members of the court martial also took oath include new faces like Brigadier Joseph Arocha, Major Sara Nagucha, Major Henry Serugo, Captain Chopista Opal, among others. Colonel Richard Tukachungra, who presided over the swearing-in ceremony, will now take over as judge advocate. The general court martial, after being sworn in immediately, resumed its duties with the hearing of old cases. The full constitution of the General Court Martial comes at a time when the former Inspector General of Police, General Kale Kaihura, is still being held under arrest by the Army. General Kale Kaihura was arrested last month, is still a serving Army officer and is still subject to military law, which means he will have to appear before the General Court Martial. Suhail Mugabe, NTV.